Hello everyone, welcome back. So today I am going to be giving you a review and a demo on the new KKW Beauty Contour Kits. Um, I am so excited. I received this yesterday. I posted a picture on Instagram that I was so excited to dive in and play with these babies. And I had so many people email me, text me, and just a couple of comments on Instagram telling me what I thought about the product. So I just decided to dive in and do a full highlight and contour video using obviously these sticks. Um, just a little bit about the packaging. So I paid in total with tax, obviously in shipping. It came to $56.95 for these products. It came in this little KKW bag in a box. And then inside this little uh, plastic bag were the two contour sticks and the brush that comes with it. So, you know, I just want to tell you guys when it comes to highlight and contour, it really should go undetectable. I am not the type of makeup artist to really, when I even do my own makeup, I like the highlight and contour to look natural, but that it's there, that your face looks chiseled without looking cakey, that you have the definition in the cheekbone, you have the definition in the highlight, you have the dish definition in the glow on your cheek, but it just looks fresh and clean. Now, I am one for definitely going full glam but when I do go full glam I do like the products to still go undetectable and that's the beauty of makeup so I did dabble on last night late last night checked out some reviews I was kind of disappointed in some of the things that people were saying and that's why I really don't check reviews out before I do my own review because I always give my honest review as a professional makeup artist. I like to tell you guys what's worth it, what's not worth it, what is really going to help you achieve the look that you are going for. So just remember that Kim Kardashian has really paved the way for highlight and contour. Her makeup artist Mario, whom I love, I took two workshops with him. They were absolutely incredible and enlightening and if you just see how he does his makeup it is extremely flawless and why because he actually mimics the skin he mimics exactly what you have what to work with how to highlight and enhance it and that is what you're going to find in these highlight and contour uh, sticks I'm just telling you right now so without further ado let's get right into the demo so that I can go over everything with you guys and I hope you enjoy it let's get into it so we have three pieces as part of this kit this is the brush that it comes with this little utensil here we have the brush end and the applicator end then we have the medium highlight and medium contour which is nice I love these double-ended sticks like this so that's a plus I'm gonna start with the highlight um, stick first now on here we have two shades we have this is the matte lighter shade and then we also have a highlighted end here. So what I had seen on one of her, I think, tutorials is that, that she could use this as highlight, concealer, and eye primer, which I thought was great. I love when I can find uh, products that can do a little bit, you know, for everything. I'm going to use a gentle hand because I have a feeling that this is going to be really pigmented, so we're going to check it out. Um, yes, it definitely is. So what you want to do is put the product down where you would like the highlight. Now when I'm doing a highlight, I don't like to oversaturate the skin. You want it to be as natural as possible on the highlight. I don't think that highlight and contour should be so visible where it's just in person, you look like you have you know, dark light, you look kinda like cakey. To me, I just feel that that is just not a good look. If my clients are watching, you guys know that I love highlight and contour and I could go super deep with a highlight and contour and still look natural. So that's gonna be the key here. This has a creamy consistency to it and I could see already that it's blending out beautifully. You don't, as of right now, I feel like you don't wanna pack it on. So I'm also going to go right down the nose and I'm gonna go here, because it's always nice to brighten this area, and then I'm gonna go here. Okay, I'm also gonna go underneath here, but after when I do the, the contour. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this brush and I'm gonna start to blend it in. You definitely don't want to wet this brush. I've been hearing and seeing that people have been wetting this brush. This is not the type of brush that needs to be wet. What I'm getting out of this is because it's so dense is that it's supposed to mimic your finger. So if you're like me and you're into blending your concealers on with your finger, this is going to be a good option for you. 
yeah I think so far it blends really nice it has a matte consistency to it so it's it's not creamy which I like I hate when highlighting contours are exceptionally creamy then they get greasy and oily and you have to powder too much what's nice about this I, I just have this feeling we're not gonna have to powder that much with this so I'm just gonna take this and keep going I'm gonna see if it gets patchy with this product um, with this sponge I think it's blending in nice I'm gonna use this side yeah this is a little more dense so this is really gonna move the product really nicely So far, I don't know if I'm really in love with the sponge applicator because I don't feel like it's moving it as much as I'd like it to, but we're going to see as we're going along. Let me try it with this guy. Yeah, the brush definitely does it better. It really moves it nice. So what's nice already because it needs a little extra oomph to move the product, you know that this product is going to stay in place. So that's a score right there. I want to do a little bit more because as you guys know I get really dark under my eyes and I didn't color correct or anything here so I'm gonna go in just a little deeper right in here just to highlight this area and if you come down on the sides this is gonna open up the eye a little bit more right here and right here especially if you guys like to highlight uh, to contour you're gonna see that this is gonna open it up okay so I'm gonna go in with this yeah, I think as you go thicker, when you have a thinner application and you're going softly, I don't think this is going to move the product so much. When you go a little bit more, I mean, I'm not saying painting it on. I don't like when highlight and contour is painted on. So I think that when you have just a little bit more like the second time around, this really puts the product into your skin beautifully. Okay, so that's the trick. You have to add just a little bit more. Up here. A little bit more up here. I'm also going to add a little bit to my lid. The texture of it is really nice. You can see that it's matte, which I like, and you can see that it's not oily. I hate when these colors, these highlight and contour kits are oily. Well, that's not good. This just broke. All right, that was a total disappointment right now. And I still have the product really low and it broke. Okay, so I don't like bashing products, but that just really upset me right now. As you can see, it broke. So I'm gonna just try and keep it as low as possible, which I've been doing. I don't know why that happened. Contour side has two shades. Okay, one. And then you have side two, which is a little deeper. So let's go in with side one to me is more like that caramelly color. This looks like it's a little bit more bronzer, I guess, when you want to go a little deeper. So I'm going to start off light, and then I'm going to work my way up. I'm going to have the tip just like this out since that one broke. Um, so when I do my contour on my cheeks, I don't like to overdo it, um, but there's a couple of different ways. So first, I'll show you how I like to just go under the cheekbone. Like if I'm going really light, and all I want to do is highlight my cheekbone, this is basically how I do it. I just go into the little divot. You could actually make a fish face. You see that little divot? That's where you're gonna follow the line. And then you come up a little bit. So I'm gonna start with this and then I'm gonna show you guys what else I do. So let me see. Oh, this is really nice to actually blend the darker product in. Okay. Very nice. Okay. I love bringing my contour up. You don't want to go down because then it makes your skin look muddy. Yeah, so this is good. Okay, I think this one's going to be better for the darker shades. 
bring it up and you don't want to really like punch your face you don't want to push it in you want to go gently contour is supposed to look flawless if you ever checked out mario's work on kim it's absolutely flawless that's the key is that you want it to go undetectable but you want to have these amazing cheekbones where people think like wow she looks so gorgeous you know which she, which kim always does in my opinion i love her makeup so yes so this is blending it in and you want to go up you want to pick it up so I guess for the darker shades, this is going to be the best way to go is to use this applicator. But I'm going to try the brush on this side. It's really beautifully too for the darker shades. Excellent. When I go into a contour on my forehead, I like it soft um, because I don't like it when it's so dark and then you see too much dark and light. You want it kind of buffed in. So I like to start up here. Now, if you have a longer forehead than me and it goes farther back, you can actually deepen up that top area to shorten it. Okay, um, so let's see. I'm going to start here and see. Yeah, so this is like for natural contour. I'm going to press the product in blends beautifully absolutely beautiful and you want to use a gentle hand if you go very uh, heavy on other highlighting contours you don't want to do that with this product I could tell already you want to go very very lightly I'm also going to add a little bit right down here just like that okay I'm going to take the jawbone. You really don't have to come all the way over. I don't know why so many people do that. Sometimes it deepens it too much. Um, and so let's go. Yep, beautiful. I want to keep it soft. I typically, when I contour, I don't really like to bring it all the way down into my jawbone. I like to highlight this area to give more of a lift to the cheek. And I even do this on my clients. I don't really like to go into the jawbone. So it's ever left over on the product. I'll go like that. The other way I like to contour is the C formation. And what I do is, and you probably, if you go back into my channel, you'll see I'll discuss this, is you actually make a C and a C. And that gives you that chisel cheek that uh, forehead over here to be bronze and it just chisels the entire face. So I'm gonna go in with the deeper shade a little bit. Contour two. I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna bring it like this. So we're gonna do a C is one. C, one C. Then we're gonna go again. You wanna go gentle, you wanna keep it soft. You don't want to have it so deep. These are very pigmented, so you have to be really careful. That's not. That's why I'm not making like this huge line and saturating my skin. There's one C, and then we'll go out and over this way. So you see, one, two. Great way to do contour. I'll just bring it down here for the sake of this video. And then for my nose, I typically don't like to contour my nose because I feel it's very noticeable, but we're going to do it for this video. So I like to just come to the center. You want to go right next to the bridge of the bone of your nose to thin out your nose. You need to go very soft and gentle with these sticks. And to give yourself a little pucker. I'm gonna go right under here. You wanna bring it into the hairline, okay guys? I'm gonna go up, up, up. Take it. I'm gonna go up. And even when you're blending in the brush, you want to keep it really light, the touch on the brush. You don't want to bang it and start moving it around. You want to be heavy handed. You want to keep, keep it actually very light handed. Just gently come up, circle, circular motions. This is beautiful. I don't know why people have been bashing it. I think uh, you just got to leave it to the professionals. And if you follow Mario um, and you watch him on the tutorial that she's doing, 
in the initial one when you order it. He's very light handed on the product. <clears throat> I do like the combination of using this and this as I'm blending in the contour because it's actually dragging the product beautifully. Maybe for the lighter shade, it's not a necessity to use this. But I think this is great for the deeper shade. Yeah, look how nice it's blending it in. It's moving it, it's not patchy. Then you go back in with the brush gently, move it around. Smile gently, bring up the product. Okay, now again, light touch. And the product moves beautifully. Again, you want to put a small amount. You don't want to saturate the product on to the skin. That is the trick, okay? So you don't want to put a lot. You want to put just a little bit and keep building. That's the trick. Because this brush is awesome. Okay, so now under here, usually what I like to do is just take... See how I'm just buffing it in? I'm going to start to create that pout. So when you contour your nose, a lot of people like to keep it very deep. I don't. So what I'm going to do though is I'm going to go on my fingers a little bit. I'm going to start to move the product around a little bit like this and press it into my skin on the sides, because that's what you want to do. You want to keep it nice and soft. Super easy. I'm going to highlight under the cheekbone. We're going to make the cheeks pop. Um, typically, I like to keep it soft, so I'm just going to carve out under here really gently, okay? And then I'll show you how to sharpen it. I'm going in with a lighter shade from the contour stick. Yep, circular motions. Keep it sharp underneath. I go under here. Very nice. Press the product into your skin. Totally natural. That's what you want to do. You want to press it in and you want to go gentle. Let's go. We're going to press it in. lifting above so it comes up perfect i love it i love the way this looks right now let me tell you this is like perfect for summertime and i can see why she's in love with this product um she definitely spent a lot of time creating it because as a professional makeup artist you can see that the product is sitting absolutely beautiful on the skin it's this is a total win okay so when you want to sharpen up your highlight you can bring it down even more so you could take the line and you're gonna match it right here to help you with that to create that lift I'm gonna bring it down here Back in the day, years ago, she used to do this a lot. If you ever noticed Mario's work. Just to lift. Go back in with the sponge. Oh, I love it. This is awesome. back in with that deeper shade and I just want to create just a little bit of depth right here as a matter of fact I'm gonna use this on my lid this is like perfect for summer because I get a light light golden tan in the summer it's like the perfect shade and then I'm gonna pop it gently pat your finger I'll pop it with that shimmer shade. 
this is beautiful. I love the lighter shade on the lid. Yes, okay, this is great. I'm gonna go in with the deeper shade. Just lift it. My camera stopped while I was talking about this, but this is absolutely beautiful with the darker shade. You just have to learn how to manipulate the product. Um, I've been doing makeup for like probably 13, maybe 14 years now, and you really have to just understand products to get it right, understand the consistency of products. Just because YouTube or Instagram has this look doesn't fit the criteria for all makeup. Each product is different. So, okay, we're gonna go in with the highlighted shade. And I'm gonna drop a little bit right in the, yes, 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 right in the center. It's just the way I like it. I'm gonna take my pinky, just blend that in, just buff that in. I'm gonna go gently over here to my brow bone. You could probably even leave it like this, you guys. Can you see the highlight? Hope it's coming up. Okay, just gently tap it in. It's just the way I like it. Beautiful. Highlight the Cupid's bow. I'm gonna go right at the tip. I just like it gently. I don't like when it looks like there's a light bulb on the tip of your nose, you wanna keep it soft. And now I'm going to highlight and bring it, this is beautiful. See how gentle I'm taking the product I'm not oversaturating it on the skin. That's the key. Take a look at how Mario just touches it on her skin. He does it gently. This is, you know, you just wanna go easy because this is supposed to be easy peasy on how you're going to do your highlight and contour. Take your ring finger or your middle finger and just gently tap it in right here. Little pop right in the center. Okay, so the only thing I added to my lips was this shade Kimmy from the lip kit that she did with Kylie. And if you guys want to see some swatches on these, let me know. I'll do those for you. Um, my final thoughts on the product. So what I could tell you is from a professional makeup artist perspective that this is an excellent highlight and contour kit. It comes with four shades that you can really play around with highlight and contour. As you watched my tutorial on how I did it, how I used the product, light hand and a little bit goes a long way. The brush is excellent. I don't care what I've seen other people say that these are no good. These are excellent for blending in the shades of the product. A little bit goes a long way. These are dense enough to actually manipulate the deeper shades into the skin so that it gives you this even look, this even contour, this even highlight. For the highlight itself, I'll be honest with you, I always liked using my fingers to, my ring fingers to tap in my highlight, but I think that when you blend in the highlight color, you have to use this in like soft padding motions and it has to blend through, so you really have to take your time with that. If you don't have any time and you wanna rush through it, but you have a little time to do the contour, then go right in with the highlight with your fingers. As you can see here, I have a chiseled cheekbone. It comes up, I have the highlight going on right here. That's subtle and absolutely beautiful. I used it as an eyeshadow. All I did was I just really added just two colors simple because for everyday use, I don't like to overdo it. And I also contoured under my lip. I mean, the set itself is excellent. I wouldn't even set this with any powder because I feel like it just blended in everything beautifully. I don't really like setting products with powder because I feel like sometimes it actually disrupts the, um, the quality of the product. So for me, uh, I didn't think it was a necessity. Do I think it's worth the money? Absolutely. You get two really great sticks, one lighter than the other and deeper than the other in here. Um, the... I, I, the packaging is nice, it's slim, it's sleek, it's nothing over the top, but it's just sleek enough that you can keep this in your bag and it's nice to travel with just like this. 
I'm not one that's really into packaging. What really matters to me most is that the product is gonna do exactly what I want it to do. And this did. So um, if you guys are interested in highlight and contour, if you like highlight and contour, but like it to look natural and beautiful and sultry, you are going to love this set because I have the shade medium and it blended beautifully into my skin. I just I just look so like, like just bronzy and nice, nothing overdone. Um, you can build this up don't be afraid but you're gonna have to do it little by little you don't want to pack on the product intensely and then it's not gonna spread actually the way that you want it to so I think that there's a way that you have to manipulate the product to work the way you want it to so just packing on product is not really gonna do it for you if you guys have tried it like that then that's probably why you're not having success with it so um, I love it I think this is great I hope that you guys enjoyed this review did you buy this did you try it did you like it did my tutorial help you um, explain it and, and and give you more insight on the product leave some comments down below let me know your thoughts and I'll see all of you in my next video